appreciate it. Now I want to bring in a man who is known, uh, who has known Eddie Ray Routh his whole life, and that's his co cousin Adam Routh. Good evening to you. Uh, look, you just heard uh, Martin's report about what happened in court uh, and what was testified to. You have any reaction to that? I mean, it, it pretty much speaks for itself. I would say so, sir. What do you mean it speaks for itself? Well, I, I, Chris Kyle already knew in the truck that Eddie was having issues. So the whole insanity, I mean, it, it just fits right there in, in on top of it. Eddie has tried getting help several different times, and it just he just finally snapped, I'd reckon. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me about your cousin. I know that you were both very close. What was he like before he began serving? Before he began serving, he was uh, just a good old jolly boy. You know, he, he was always there to give a helping hand. He'd give you the shirt off his back if need be. And he just, he loved working. He loved being outside, loved hunting, loved fishing. And never really even thought about hurting nobody. Mm -hmm. And before that, no, um, he wasn't on any medication. And as I understand, afterwards he was prescribed a lot of medication. Do that, you think? he came back a changed man and is it true was he on a lot of medication yes sir i do believe so and yes sir they they did like to shove a lot of pills down his throat from the va and was that for ptsd uh yes sir i believe it was yeah. so after he returned home what was his relationship like with drugs and alcohol with drugs and alcohol mm -hmm. well he did drink uh, and might have smoked a little bit of marijuana, but as for the PCP thing, I just heard that today that I'd never seen him do anything like that. Mm -hmm. How did you find out about the shootings? I found out about the shootings through Facebook, actually. I had somebody, one of my close friends, hit me up on Messenger and uh, let me know all about it. Yeah. Adam, when was the last time you saw your cousin, and um, do you still hear from him? Yes, sir. I, I do still hear from him quite regularly, about once a week, I'd say. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the last time that I saw him was uh, the Christmas just before he ended up doing the deed. Mm -hmm. And you said you hear about him just about, you hear from him about once a week. How, how is that? Uh, everything, everything, we keep it simple. Well, I'm just wondering, is you it, are you texting, are you calling, are you, how are you hearing? Through no, no, he, uh, he calls me. Mm -hmm. He calls me about once a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, a, that's uh, that and writing letters sometimes. What does he say to you? What uh, do you we, we, try to, we, we try to keep it simple, you know, just talk about how things are going on out here, you know, and uh, definitely we stay away from the trial, you know. We don't, we don't even talk about that. I mean, because that's a, that's a hard enough subject in itself. How is he holding up? He's, uh, he, he, I think he's holding up pretty good for right now. Yeah. I haven't talked to him here within the past couple of days, and I'm, I'm sure he's got a lot of stress on him. Yeah. But uh, last time I talked to him, he was doing all right. I want to show this drawing that he, here it is, that he sent to you um, while in jail. So um, what, do you, what do you make of, of this drawing? What's this about? Well, I mean, my, my cousin was a soldier. You know, it's, it's what he loved most. Uh, ever since we were kids, he wanted to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, I, the way I, f I feel about it, maybe that's what he would rather be doing at the moment. Adam, I know yes, it's sir. not easy to do this. Thank you so much for coming on. Will you come back? Uh, possibly, sir. <laughs> I know it's tough. Thank you, Adam Ralph.